Hello everyone, welcome to Code for Placement. In today's tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how to install MySQL in my your computer. So now I'm using a Mac and so first I will be showing you how to install on Mac and um, let in this like next video we will show how to install it in Windows as well. So if you are a Windows user, feel free to skip this tutorial and open your browser and head back to micro, mysql.com. Okay. So then uh, go to the download page and scroll down to the bottom. Uh, here you will find, you will see like MySQL Community Editor. Uh, this is absolutely free and we are going to use throughout this course. Okay. So let's go ahead and with that and now this page, just click on MySQL and download button. Okay. So this will list you the download and the first item which will be a DMG at like Archie file and although all right so now we uh, on the next page we will click on no thanks and that's will start the our download and uh, yeah so here we'll click on continue and uh, install this package in our system so once we will install it we'll ask for agreement we'll agree this agreement and uh, yeah it will ask you for the password so we need to give the admin user password in this and click to the next in this box um, we have the complex like we need to put the uh, password accordingly and then we'll, we'll set a, a root password and we'll click on finish so again it will ask you the password for initializing this thing same thing and we'll click click on close the installer or the package will move to the task so this is how we have already installed this MySQL in our system. Now we'll go to the download section and uh, basically we have to install this community uh, downloader or the GraphQL tool. So we will be using this uh, C MySQL workbench. This is a GraphQL tool. Uh, that we will be using to connect to the database server so let's go ahead and download this as well now once you again on this page we need to download the DMG achiever so download and uh, let's let let's wait for this particular thing to be downloaded then we'll double click and again we'll move uh, we'll drag this to MySQL workbench into the application folder so let's go ahead with that and now it's going to copy that into the application folder. Now it's going to copy into the application folder and the uh, beautiful. So we have done the installation and that was a super easy step. Uh, let's close this pop up, open it. Let's let's open it, click on open it. And now the first time we are seeing this message because the application we have downloaded from internet so we have to tell the mac that we trust it okay so by default you will be having the connection here and uh, let's delete that connection and create a fresh connection from the scratch so we'll click on the plus button icon and then we'll give all the details and uh, let's say the local instance now for the connection and method that we are going to use is tcip which is set by default and the host name is localhost that is 12120 0 and 001 and the port we will be giving 3306 username will put it as root so that's how again it will ask for the password so we need to enter the password this is the password that is set during the installation so click to store the keychain and in this box so type the password mysql and all right then finally we will be clicking on this ok button so to the mysql server on the local machine beautifully let's click on this ok and here a connection uh, on the home page okay that's all so of the mysql uh, workbench every time you open mysql workbench we use this connection to connect to the local server all right so we are done with the installation of mysql and uh, next i will be talking about the installation of the my windows system 
सो डू सब्सक्राइब टू कोड फॉर प्लेसमेंट थैंक यू गाइज थैंक यू सो मच